Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. Last time, we got our ship crew map in the lane. And we were on our way to Blood Island when Captain Rottingham stole our map, so now we had to battle some other pirate ships, get their gold, and buy cannons that are fit enough to battle against Captain Rottingham's ship, and then face him in insult sword fighting. Except this time, it's a little bit different. As opposed to Monkey Island 1, the insults you use have to rhyme with, or the comebacks you use for the, for the insults have to rhyme with the insults given. So anyway, I've always showed you the ship battle, I've showed you one instance of sword fighting. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip the ship battles, I'll cut them out completely, and just show you the sword battles. I'll also show you how you buy new cannons once you do uh, get some more gold. Which, um, if you were playing on a harder mode, it would be, uh, necessary to buy them more frequently, but uh, since we're doing our easy, well, oh, you'll just see. Anyway, let's look at this navigation chart. So we have, we did not fear some pirates, we have Captain Rottingham, we don't want to uh, mess with him yet. And, see how, and you want to go there if you want to buy cannons, but we can't do that yet. What does that say? Golfo de Pollo. Alright. Oh. Well, I guess since we uh, already battled them, we don't... Well, I, I didn't even cut anything out. It just went right to this. I guess since we already battled them, we don't have to do it again. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Alright, so now we have some uh, new insults that we actually learned from this very same guy. So let's see what he has to say. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. Oh, yeah? And he doesn't know a response to that one, so we win that round. But we actually need responses, so I wish he would have given me one. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. I'm shaking. Oh, come on, dude. I'm shaking. Give me some. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance? <laughs> that's a good one. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Um, well, this rhymes, but that wouldn't quite work. I like music that's syncopated. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. My entire wardrobe is color coordinated. <laughs> Oh, we lost. Well, if I had me, you'd be the first one to get it. So, well, we learned some new insults, so let's try it again. We lost a sea battle. How oh, humiliating for a pirate of my skill and experience. That's why I hate sea battles. See, that I'm doing on easy mode, and I still freaking lost that. Alright, um... Let's try these guys. Who are you? All right, so we have this new guy. I've come to plunder your treasure. Arr! Maybe he'll teach us something new. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. I am rubber. You are glue. Come on. Just like the first game, the most important thing to learn is the responses to these. So it's kind of annoying when they don't give the responses. As much as we like winning, we need to learn those things. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Seriously, dude? Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. And he's completely useless, so. You win! Give me your treasure. I didn't want it anyway. It's got that horrible curse. What? Only kidding. <laughs> We're loaded with booty. Alright, so we got some treasure from that useless pirate. That sucked. Because we really do need to learn responses if we want to win. Oh, we just passed Captain Rottingham. That was close. Well, and here's well, Kenny. Well. <laughs> when you cheat others, you're really cheating yourself. Boy, do I know that now. <laughs> Golly, I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest, I've got a new business.
business now. And gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. <laughs> Tell me you're lying. <laughs> this I never kid. lie anymore, mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition? At least he's being more honest about it. Designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? I'm a fearsome pirate. Yeah, well, you may be a pirate, but you aren't a fearsome pirate unless your ship is equipped with the latest in offensive weaponry from Bob's Big Four Boomer brand Kennedy Incorporated. However, I see that you are a pirate ready to take that first step. Man, this kid's a good salesman, despite that crap from before. Today, customer name here. Uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Freep Snood, I can <laughs> offer you the complete line oh. from Bob's Big Boar Boomer Grand Cannon Incorporated. Uh, how many ways will they mutilate to start his name? With, we have the entry level model, the Buccaneers Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available The okay. Ouch Master, the Homemaker Deluxe, each, the Pain Giver 2000. Each one is a little bit better than the last. Massacre. And finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself. Hey, that's who we're the fighting. Destructomatic T-47. And that's what we so, want to beat him. So we need to any of these models, mister? beat enough pirates to get the Destructomatic T-47. But uh, we only defeat one pirate, so we can only afford the Buccaneer's well, Buddy. I'll take the Buccaneer's Buddy. The Buccaneer's Buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. Now, will that be All the right. blues, jewels, captured maidens? <laughs> we captured maidens. I've got these wooden nickels. Listen, I'm not doing this for my health, you know. Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Come back Man, when you have some green toothpick. Sassy little guy, aren't you? Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. Let's try that well, again. I'll take the Buccaneer's Buddy. The Buccaneer's Buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yes, yes, yep. got it. You got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. How would you like to pay for those? Hmm. Could I interest you in an authentic gold tooth? No, thanks. I have all my teeth. How would you like to pay for those? All right, so let's uh, well, do the booty. Full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough. And somehow he knows. Would you take my old cannons as a trade-in? Well, I don't know. They are pretty banged up. Hang on while I check the blue book on them. Blue book? <laughs> Seriously? A blue book on cannons? Okay. I'll have my mom install your new cannon prano. While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hole and pick up your trade-in. Mom! All right, and so when we get back to our ship, it will be loaded with the new cannons. And uh, let's take a look at this. Kenny's blocked the way into town with this big pile of cannons. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, well, anyways. Now let's get back to ship battling. Okay, so, um, the whole, uh, fighting thing didn't go as well as I had planned, just because people just aren't using the responses. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get as many, like, just keep going, get as many responses as I can, do this off camera, and then I'll do one more fight showing you, uh, all the insults, and then I'll show you all the responses and kind of... Uh, make references as to what they correspond to, and then we'll fight Captain Rottingham. So, I will meet you in a little bit with all that. Would you like to be buried or cremated? This isn't going as well as I'd anticipated. Give me your treasure! I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? Okay, here's something I want to show you real quick. I was actually looking for these guys. This is a glass bottom boat. These aren't pirates. The tourists have been defeated. I really shouldn't pick on those poor defenseless tourists. It's not good for business on the island. They do make for good cannon fodder, though. <laughs> so that's a little fun thing. If you have it on hard mode, of course, they'll take more hits, but they actually won't shoot back, and so you get more screams and stuff out of them. But oh well. Anyway, back to the skipping around. You can't match my witty repartee.
I'll upholster my sofa with bright gold lame. You're the ugliest monster ever created! You'll digest food better if it's been masticated. Give me your treasure! Okay, okay. But can I keep my copy of Currents and Wind Patterns of the Sea of Beige Flotsam, 3rd edition? Well, seeing as I already have the 4th edition, okay. You're the ugliest monster ever created! I'd like the Latin verb to go. Conjugated! Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified! Uh, did you say something? I'm a little preoccupied. Open your hole so I may take your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you would. Never mind then. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. Dinoflagellates are the cause of red tide. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I sent a letter to the King of Portugal, who never replied. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. I wonder if the rent on my ship is prorated. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. Whoa, mister. You've entered a select group of pirates. You've just ordered the Destructomatic T-47 armor-piercing carnage delivery system with auto-loading and fax motor. Quite a fine piece of hardware if I do say so myself. Mom! Okay, after a ton of fighting, we're finally getting the responses I need. And getting... Oh my gosh, look at these things. It's the Destructomatic T-47 armor-piercing carnage delivery system with auto-loading and fax modem. What? Why did it, fax modem? I, I just I don't even are those are those missiles? Oh my goodness! Anachronisms everywhere. Anyway, we now have what we need to defeat Captain Rottingham. So, I will do the ship battle with him off screen, and we'll meet you when we finally board his ship. Here for another whipping? Yes, we are here. We are finally ready. Oh, look at this guy's ship. This is nice. And I love the French music going on. You'll never get away with this, Rene. When I'm done, your body will be rotted and putrefied. <laughs> yeah, um, just like in the first game, he's not going to use insults that you're familiar with, but you still need to find the proper response. And it has to rhyme. Oh, what did he say? I don't even remember what he said now. Uh, could you repeat that? When I'm done, your body will be rotted and putrefied. Okay. So what will go with that? So here's all the responses I got. At least mine can be identified. Haha. -ha. Oh, that didn't work? What? You have the sex appeal of a Sharpe. Alright, well anyway, I know what to do that one. I look that much like your fiancé? My attacks have left entire islands depopulated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Haha. -ha. Nothing can stop me from blowing you away. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Um. Oh, that is so cliche. I hope that's the right one. No, that wasn't the right one. I have never lost a melee. Oh, I know what I know. This one. Well, you would have, but you were always running away. Ah. Never before have I faced someone so sissified. Sissified is that a word? Hmm. 
Let's see. You should let your conscience be your guide. Oh, is that your face? Oh, I thought it was your backside. I think we got him. No, not yet. You'll find I'm dogged and relentless to my prey. Hmm. Let's see. There's two that rhyme. Oh, that is so cliche. Does that work now? No, it doesn't. Crap. I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated. Um. Let's see. Here we go. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. That should be it. Yes. Yes, we got him. Okay. I was afraid I was going to lose that one. I cannot believe it. I have been defeated in battle. So give me that map. Take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win, you'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac. <laughs> all right, right, all right, I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci, I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. Yes. And thus we go on to part four, the bartender, the thieves, his aunt, and her lover. Yes, we will meet all of them. So we go for some fancy 3D action. Uh-oh, that's, uh, good foreboding. What's going on? Last, there we go. Oh, that's uh, that's not good. We've got to keep her on course to Blood Island. Van Helgen, I'm doing all I can here. Tigers, lend a hand. I'm barely holding on myself, mate. But I got this way. Oh, She's the devil's seriously? own. Seriously, yeah. We shouldn't have worn a kill them, brother. Hey, there it is. And, uh, we're gonna crash. Yeah, crashed. Well, shoot. But we made it. We are on Ooh. Blood Island. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Oh. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I, I mean, not another mutiny. What do you mean, I guess? This be a mutiny, Captain. Uh, We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Why do my uh, crews keep it. mutineering on me? Options, but we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're uh. going back to being barbers? Hi. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It was Driftwood. a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Well, at least we made it to Blood Island, and that was the goal, right? So, uh, will we be able to find that ring that can cure Elaine? And will we be able to find Elaine again since she flew off? We'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.